Well, the cost of getting a child ready to head back to school can get expensive. Everything from buying uniforms or pens and paper can start to add up. Today, the Burgundy and Gold Charitable Foundation hosts its fifth annual back to school fair. Hundreds of families in need packed FedEx Field in Landover. CTV's Katera Jones is inside the stadium with more. The goal is to equip every child in need with the proper essentials to start the school year off right so kids and their parents can come to this station just right here, pick up a book bag just in time for the start of the school year. From book bags to uniforms, the home team's charitable foundation hosts its fifth annual back to school fair. So it's really important to have this back to school fair be just an easy one stop shop for our families and, and kids to come to. Having everything that they need ready and accessible and really providing that access to these families that might not otherwise have it. Hairstylists were on hand to give kids like fifth grader Alvis a fresh new do. Concentrating and doing my work much better than I used to. When I get home, I'm going to be like studying and like studying my homework. And then after that, I will read like an hour of books. Former Burgundy and Gold wide receiver Josh Morgan was giving out school supply kits to children. For one, it helps the families financially because a lot of families, you know, don't really have a lot of families stretching the dollar thin and have a lot of kids. So I definitely hope it helps them financially and takes a lot of stress off of them. Like, you know, uh, just a, basically a relief, like, okay, now I don't have to worry about this. Now what's the next thing that I have to do for my child? I had no idea it was going to be like this. I thought they want to get a couple of pencils, you know, see the field and do something like that. But this is awesome. They're giving away clothes, book bags, uniforms, T-shirts. I think a lot of times what people don't realize is when kids aren't ready to go back to school or not feeling, um, you know, at their best, they won't want to go to school. They don't want to participate in class. It, it, you know, contributes to absenteeism. And so really the impact here is making sure kids feel ready to learn, ready to go back to school and feeling good about themselves. Organizers say they plan to help close to 700 families. Reporting in Landover, Katera Jones, CTV News. And the foundation partnered with more than 40 organizations like Safeway and Hair Cuttery for the event.